1964, a TV series burst onto screens, introducing us to a world of espionage and intrigue. With a mix of humor, shock, and sadness, each episode kept audiences hooked. Have you ever been struck by a particular scene that lingered in your mind? Or perhaps you had a favorite character whose role left a lasting impression? As you keep watching, be prepared for funny, shocking, and sad facts that will unfold. This series, with its dynamic characters and suspenseful plot twists, has a way of sticking with people. Do you have a cherished memory or a personal experience tied to the show? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, buckle up for a journey into the world of the man from UNCLE and share your thoughts with us. In the 1960s, The Man from UNCLE broke new ground as a spy series alongside others like Mission Impossible. It fascinated viewers, especially kids, with its charm. The show mirrored the spy culture of the 60s, introducing unique characters and stylish action, meeting the audience's desire for engaging stories. Initially, the series show would cleverness with Robert Vaughn providing a great counterpoint to David McCallum, who embodied the foreign hunk archetype including an innocent civilian in each episode aimed to anchor the series amidst fantastical espionage scenarios. However, over time, the show fell into familiar patterns resembling series like Wild Wild West and Batman. Predictable plots, recurring villains, and formulaic resolutions became part of the storytelling. In the broader context of spy-themed entertainment, The Man from UNCLE is recognized for its place in the limited TV and film choices of the 60s. While it showcased a likable side of Vaughn, known for antagonistic roles later in his career, and led McCallum to host reality shows, the series, looking back, seems dated and tied to its time. Comparatively, titles like the British series Danger Man and Callan are considered to hold up better over the decades, offering ongoing enjoyment. The Man from UNCLE, however, seems tied to its era, offering a snapshot of viewer preferences and limitations of that time. For those unfamiliar with the show, it may feel less relevant and more connected to its specific historical context, unlike other spy-themed titles that surpass the limitations of their time. The Man from UNCLE Not only made its mark on television, but also played a crucial role in inspiring the creation of Nick Fury, agent of SHILD, a character later featured in Marvel movies, and the TV series Agents of SHILD. Stan Lee, Marvel Comics editor, shared in Son of Origins that the TV series influenced the development of Nick Fury, starting a tradition that unfolded 49 years after the show first premiered. While filming a reunion movie, the lead actors reflected on how the show affected their careers. David McCallum found himself often typecast, facing challenges in diversifying his roles. In contrast, Robert Vaughn took on villainous roles exclusively after the series concluded, the character Ilya Kuri Akin, a notable figure from the show, got its name from a Broadway play by Jules Dassin. Ilya Darling, a musical adaptation of Dassin's film Never on Sunday, provided inspiration for the Russian character. Interestingly, Dassin, the playwright, faced suspicions of blacklisting due to alleged communist affiliations, adding a layer of historical context to the series. The Man from UNCLE, with its spy allure, continues to resonate beyond its initial broadcast, influencing characters and story arcs in the Marvel Universe. The show's impact on the lead actor's careers reveals differing outcomes, showcasing the varied paths that follow successful TV series. Additionally, the origins of character names like Ilya Kuri Akin reveal unexpected connections to Broadway plays and the political climate of the time. Looking back, The Man from UNCLE, not only entertained viewers with its spy-themed narratives, but also became a cultural touchstone, leaving lasting impressions on subsequent works in both television and comics. In the world of The Man from UNCLE, there were plans to mix things up by combining it with The Girl from UNCLE, forming a combined two-hour series called The UNCLE. So, this unique idea aimed to blend the stories of both spy worlds. Even Mad Magazine had some fun with it, creating a spoof called The Man from AUNTIE, giving a humorous twist to the spy genre. This playful take show with how popular and influential the show had become, making it a subject for satire in well-read publications. At first, they wanted Will Kiluva to play the head of UNCLE, but after the pilot, the network executives wanted a change, suggesting they get rid of the foreign guy. Interestingly, they meant David McCallum's Russian character Ilya Kuri Akin, but the producers misunderstood and thought they meant Kiluva. 
So, Leo G. Carroll ended up taking the role, shaping the series in a different direction. The behind-the-scenes decisions and unintended shifts in character roles added interesting layers to how the show evolved. While viewers enjoyed the spy stories on screen, the off-screen decisions and adaptations were just as captivating. Following Robert Vaughn's passing in 2016, David McCallum stands as the sole survivor among the original cast members of the espionage series. Throughout its run, the character Ilya, portrayed by McCallum, gained unprecedented popularity, receiving more fan mail than any actor in MGM's history, surpassing even figures like Clark Gable and Elvis Presley in the unaired pilot, The Head of Uncle, was Mr. Allison, portrayed by Will Kiluva. However, when the series finally aired, the scenes were reshot in black and white, featuring Leo G. Carroll as Mr. Waverly. This shift marked a notable change in the series, taking it in a different direction. The series not only left its mark on television, but also played a pivotal role in inspiring the creation of Nick Fury, agent of SHILD, a character later featured in Marvel movies and the TV series Agents of SHILD. Stan Lee, the editor of Marvel Comics, acknowledged the influence of the man from UNCLE on the development of Nick Fury. Reflecting on their careers during a reunion movie, lead actors McCallum and Vaughn faced divergent paths, with McCallum grappling with typecasting challenges while Vaughn embraced villainous roles post-series. The character Ilya Curry Akin drew inspiration from a Broadway play by Jules Dason, adding an unexpected layer to the show's origins. The show's influence extended beyond its initial broadcast, leaving lasting impressions on subsequent works in both television and comics. It shaped the careers of its lead actors in distinctive ways and connected to broader cultural and political context of its time. Plans to combine the man from Uncle with the girl from Uncle into a two-hour series called The Uncle showcased the series' popularity, even becoming a subject for satire in Mad Magazine's spoof called The Man from A-U-N-T-I-E. Unintended shifts in character roles, prompted by behind-the-scenes decisions, added layers to the evolution of the show. In summary, the show stands as a cultural touchstone, not just for its spy-themed narratives, but also for its influence on subsequent works and the varied paths it paved for its lead actors. Unintended shifts and behind-the-scenes decisions provide a unique perspective on its evolution, making it a subject of interest for fans and scholars alike. In the world of spy TV, The Man from UNCLE found its niche in the 1960s. Inspired by the James Bond craze, the show cleverly rode the spy culture wave, debuting a year after Dr. No. The series' success led to a unique approach. Every two-part episode was edited into theatrical movies for release in Europe and later on American TV. Each film featured additional footage, expanding the story with titles like To Trap a Spy, The Spy with My Face, and How to Steal the World access to uncle headquarters was through del florias a tailor's shop adding a touch of clandestine intrigue while other entrances were mentioned they remained unseen adding to the show's mystique interestingly the man from uncle influenced more than just tv it played a crucial role in inspiring the creation of nick fury agent of shield as acknowledged by stan lee the editor of marvel comics the lead actors, David McCallum and Robert Vaughn, took different paths post-series. McCallum faced challenges with typecasting while Vaughn embraced villainous roles. Plans to merge the man from Uncle with the girl from Uncle into a combined series called The Uncle showcased the show's popularity. Mad Magazine even joined the fun with a spoof titled The Man from A-U-N-T-I-E, underlining the series' influence, becoming a subject for satire in well-read publications. As the series unfolded, unintended shifts in character roles emerged from behind-the-scenes decisions. Notably, a misunderstanding about eliminating the foreign guy led to Leo G. Carroll taking a pivotal role, steering the show in a different direction. After Robert Vaughn's passing in 2016, David McCallum stands as the sole survivor among the original cast members. Ilya, portrayed by McCallum, became a beloved character, receiving unprecedented fan mail, surpassing even MGM's big names like Clark Gable and Elvis Presley. The Man from UNCLE, with its spy allure, not only entertained audiences, but left a lasting mark on subsequent works in television and comics. Its influence on character development and the varied paths of its lead actors adds depth to its legacy, making it a subject of interest for fans and scholars alike.